All right, hey, what's going on out there? This is Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom. Now, we're working on our 41 wheelies over here, and that's a fiberglass car, okay? I don't care what you say, fiberglass is fiberglass, steel is steel. Now, people out there are going to argue with me and say, steel is real, fiberglass is bullshit. Well, I'd rather have a fiberglass car over a steel car because it doesn't rust and blah, blah. Who gives a fuck, okay? It's whatever you prefer, okay? Don't listen to other people, okay? It's your choice, not theirs. It's your car, not theirs. If you want to paint your fucking car pink with purple dots and put a big fucking, uh, you know, elephant nose hanging off the back of it, then do it, okay? It's your fucking car, not theirs. Okay, now, if you look at this car, this is an example of a fiberglass kit car, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a street beast, a Downs manufacturing, a fucking redneck uh, fiberglass car, and all these other freaking companies out there, Harwood, Inglewood, and Lakewood, and, you know, wood, wood, wood. Every fiberglass car you do, you're going to have to do bodywork to it, okay? And the place that it takes is wherever the mold, the release mold, okay, where the mold goes together, is where the bodywork is going to need to be done. This is a 41 Willys. It's a street beast uh, Willys. It's a nice car. It's a strong car. You can tell by, okay, it's solid, all right? It's probably the thickest made fiberglass kit car on the market. I'm not trying to sit here and fucking sell Street Beast cars to you. If you don't like them, that's fine with me. If you love them, that's great. If you don't care about them, who gives a shit? I'm telling you, what I know about them, they're a nice car if they're built right, okay? I'm not set. The only problem with the wheelies is that it takes a lot of body work. Now, the hood has an imperfection. There's imperfection. If you notice, I put a guide coat on this, okay? I always put a guide coat. I don't even know if you can see that in the picture. I always put a guide coat on it, so when I block sand, that's going to tell me. What the deal is on a fiberglass car that makes it different than a steel car, you can't see the dents, okay? On a white fiberglass gel coat car, you cannot see the dents. The only way to see them is feel them, okay? And another thing that makes it very crucial on a fiberglass car, if you are not a prepared body man and know how to take your time and do it right, do not fucking do a fiberglass car in Bondo because what's going to happen is you're going to keep on sanding that. It's not like metal where it stops. When you start sanding fiberglass, it keeps going and going and going and going, all right? And soon, pretty soon, you won't have no gel coat left. Your car is going to look like this, okay? I'm going to start doing a fucking dance on you, all right? You won't even have to put flames on it because uh, you're just going to take some lighter fluid and start the motherfucker on fire. Plain and simple. Because you're pissed off at it. And you fucked it up. Okay? And if you go to try to sell it, nobody's going to give you a dime for it. So, take your time. Now, I'm going to take So, I've had to do body work up here. Now, I didn't see that dent. I went ahead and blocked the whole hood out, the top of the hood. And I found that after I blocked it out by feeling it and finessing it, okay? Even though I had my guide coat on here, if you look right here, you can see that the guide coat, okay, there you go, is on the car, I still did not see the dent, all right? Now, if your car is black gel coat and it's a shiny black gel coat, you'll be able to see the dents on that. But a car particularly like this, you won't be able to see them. Now you see where I've had to do body work on the roof, all the way around, and all the way down, just like so. Coming back here, these were all little imperfections. And here's a good example, I don't even know if you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna try to zoom in. Here we go. You can see the imperfection. All right, I'm trying to get as close as I can without zooming out. Right in hit this area here, see that's my finger. You can see that imperfection right there, all right? And that's what we're talking about. See, this whole lip, okay? 
That whole lip right there is imperfected and I'll have to sand all that. Everywhere that I have put a uh, pencil mark needs body work, okay? That is very important on these cars. Do your body work, do your priming before you build your car. It'll save you a lot of time and you'll be a happier camper because guess what? The hard part's over with. Now we've had, this is, everywhere that you see, if you look, this is exactly the same on the other side because that is where the mold is put bolted together, see? So that's where the pressure is. And we come down here. Now I've had to add some more right there because I found that it was worse than we thought. But if you notice, the uh, imperfection in the file, I call these imperfections, not dents, because this, there's no way you can dent that unless you heat it up and dent it. And, you know, get it so hot that it melts. The imperfection is in the exact same spots, if you notice, looky here, see, okay? Because, all right, of the mold that they have. That you see the doors, okay? We had our part-timer, Corey, on the bodywork on this. But see, Corey is a fucking collision repair guy. He doesn't know how to do bodywork on uh, fiberglass. So, of course, naturally, our buddy Pete had to take over, okay? Now we got the doors, all right? And you can see that one there was <laughs> pretty bad. And the deck lid, done. So now all we're doing is the tilt front end. And we got the body. That's three days of body work you're looking at, right there. So, what I'm trying to say is if you have a fiberglass car, whether it's a street beast or some other brand, I don't, you know, fiberglass car is a fiberglass car, plain and simple. I don't care who makes it or what have you. They're all basically the same. They all go together the same. It's a kit car. It's a replica, okay? You're going to have to do body work to it. Plain and simple. Doing body work on a five glass car is totally different, okay? It's a feel and touch situation. You can't, you can't hammer and dolly them out. You can't pull the dents out with dent pullers, okay? It's a filler, feel, touch, fill it in, block it down, and most of the sanding that you do on a fiberglass car is by hand, okay? Not machine work. So, that's just another good tip from Pete, okay? Your pal Pete, your friend Pete, my friend Pete, okay? All the way down here in Dallas, Texas, to wherever the fuck you're at, you know, in the world somewhere, watching my videos in the middle of the night or early in the morning or whatever, okay? Get your ass in gear and do the fucking job and get it done. That's what it's all about. I've been here since 5 o'clock this morning. It's 6 fucking 30 at night now. I'll still be here tonight until about 10. I gotta pay my bills. We'll see you later. Take it easy. And uh, that's all I can tell you.